Here is another sample free response question, this time without a calculator. We are given the table that has x, f of x, f prime of x, g of x, and g prime of x values for that correspond to x values of 3 and 6. If h of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x, find h prime of 3. Then, if k of x is equal to f of g of x, find k prime of 3. And finally, if m of x is equal to the square root of f of x, find m prime of 6. Let's start with part a. If h of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x, find h prime of 3. Let's start by setting up the quotient rule. So h prime of x is equal to the bottom g of x times the derivative of the top f prime of x minus the top f of x times the derivative of the bottom or g prime of x all over the bottom squared. And since we're evaluating this at 3, we can then rewrite the quotient rule with 3's in place of our x values. From here, we are going to look at our table and use the row that we need to, which is the row of function and derivative function values when x is 3. So if we substitute those values into our formula, we'll have 6 times 1 minus negative 2 times negative 3 all over 6 squared. So we'll have 6 minus 6, which is 0, over 36, which is 0. So h prime of 3 is 0. Now let's solve part b. If k of x is equal to f of g of x, find k prime of 3. All right, so the first step here is to set up the chain rule. And the chain rule for f of g of x is equal to f prime of g of x times g prime of x, or the derivative of the outside keep the inside the same, times the derivative of the inside. And we have to evaluate this when x is 3. So again, we are looking at our table at the x equals 3 uh, row and filling in those values. So we have f prime of g of 3 times g prime of 3, and then we'll fill in these values. So f prime of g of 3 is 6, and then g prime of 3, which is negative 3. And now we have to also use f prime of 6. So that's this value right here. So we need to use f prime of 6. So we put 7 there times negative 3, which is going to be negative 21. And that's the solution to part b. Now let's look at part c. If m of x is equal to the square root of f of x, find m prime of 6. Well, the first thing that we can do is we can rewrite m of x with exponents. It is equal to f of x being raised to the 1 half power. So we're going to apply the chain rule here. We are going to bring down for m prime of x we're going to bring down the 1 half, and we will have f of x raised to the negative 1 half power times f prime of x. So we need to use both the power rule and chain rule to solve this problem. And now, since we're finding m prime of 6, let's fill in 6 for our x's. So we have f prime of 6 divided by 2 times f of 6 raised to the 1 half power, or the square root of f of 6. And now we can substitute our values in based on what's in our table. This time, 
we are going to be using the row that has sixes in them, and it's mainly the first two. So we have seven for f prime of six divided by two times the square root of f of six, which is three. So we have two times the square root of three. Now we can't have a square root in the denominator, so we need to rationalize it. And to do so, we have to multiply the top and bottom by square root of three over square root of three. So we'll have seven square root of three over six as our final answer.